Aloha Hawaii Prepper! Let's talk shipping disruptions. Now, Costco's is renting three container ships and several thousand containers to shield itself from uh, the supply chain delays and rising costs. So Costco's is not the only big box store that is doing this. There are a couple of them. The other one I know of is Home Depot as well. And they are doing this here. What I'll do is I'll add a link below mm -hmm. so that you can click on that link and you can read a little bit more into it. Uh, but it's you know it's going to be renting its own container ships to import products from asia to the u.s and canada and it wants to sidestep the global shipping crisis and shield itself from shortages and rising costs it's also renting several thousand containers and so you know costco is a really big big box store uh, very well known globally and they're in several different countries uh, probably more than likely millions of um, customers and members um, it's a really excellent company I know because I used to work there uh, for 12 years um, so it's an excellent company with excellent benefits for all of their workers and um, it's just just a good place to be and in fact if anything i think everyone you know if you're looking for a job go into the food service jobs like grocery stores um especially if you're prepping uh, these will be beneficial to you and your family because you can get discounts um you'll you'll get a lot of uh, first dibs on a lot of things that come through um but a lot of times when costos do get new products their members come first um, at these new products especially if they're trending type of products so the employees have to wait uh, mo most of the time um, i remember working there in that you know we weren't allowed to purchase things um, and like knew some some of the items and the members had first dibs on it so they really take care of all their members and they try to keep the cost down for the members um, if they cannot you know fasten that cost down for the members they'll no longer carry that product so sometimes when you see products disappear from from that store um, that's more than likely the reason why they're no longer going to carry it because if that particular company that they're dealing with happens to raise the cost and raise the price on those products then Costco's will eliminate it once and for all they don't want it they don't want a product and that they'll have to up the prices on their members and they don't want that so they try their hardest to keep the prices as low as they possibly can for all their members so you know this is going to be really interesting um to see if costco's can avoid the freight shipping that's what they're trying to do is avoid freight shipping so you know they're looking at about 800 to a thousand containers that they're going to be renting and you know there's no way around the freight shipping and freight shipping is like skyrocketed already now because of everything that's going on uh, so this is going to be really interesting to watch um, to see if they'll really be able to keep prices down and or where they would raise prices as well so very very interesting um to to witness but costco's is really really a great store a great shop to work at um and usually when you work there no one leaves there you either get fired or you know but my i i left there for you know personal reason nothing to do with the company it was all personal you know just personal reasons um but greatest store to prep at 
especially if you're a prepper you come across a lot of great deals there are a lot of interesting products that come across um, the only downfall I think is everything is in bulk so um, if if you're you know thinking of getting produce you know you're gonna be buying in bulk and if you don't have that much family members you know like if there's only two of you then you know you got to make sure that you eat these things fast so you know how to store them you know how to um, freezer store them as well and so that's that's the only downfall and you know you have a tendency to spend money you know it's it's like everything is strategically placed at the end caps all over the place even though you may be looking for one item or two items you're gonna walk out of there with ten or more items and maybe you might not even walk out of there with the item that you were looking for to begin with uh, so yeah Costco is really smart how they market things and how they set things up in each warehouse so they change it around every single day so it it never really stays the same place because it's all about marketing and you know strategic placement where they place things and so you know that way you see something you never seen before and you're like ooh that's interesting so you end up picking that up you know so you know that's how all these stores work basically you know you have the impulse buy things near the register um, just a whole lot of things that make you spend a lot of money so you need to go into any of the shops and stores with a plan with a budget and stick to it as best as you can um, but other than that I think this will be a really uh, interesting time to see how Costco's will actually uh, do this and try to avoid the higher freight taxes as well as raising prices on products that they have but they've been good so far through the years um, by not raising any of their prices and keeping their prices at really uh, low excellent prices for the members and so yeah this is something I just wanted to kind of go through because you know with the shipment disruptions you know inflation and everything like that it's a given that everything is going up you're going to be paying for that freight charge that's going to be included in any product that you get and so like I said this is going to be really really interesting you know because all of the big box chain stores you know among the large group of retailers have been grappling with an ongoing supply chain crisis so that's causing delays and shortages as well but another thing that I wanted to interject here is that what's gonna happen once every single one of these containers cargo ships do start unloading and then all of the products that are set out to their destinations of all these different stores big box stores smaller stores they're gonna be flooded they're gonna be totally flooded with items and if my thinking is you know right they're not gonna have space they're not gonna have enough space to hold that massive amount of products coming in especially if it's flooding in all at once you know imagine you have like probably up to seven you know cargo ships I mean not seven but probably up to a hundred cargo ships out there imagine when they all come in one time and they all needed to be distributed to their destined stores and warehouses you know they're gonna need a lot of storage space you know and I really I don't believe um, the stores here in Hawaii has enough storage space to contain that massive influx of products that are going to be coming in. So what does that mean? How does that benefit you? What's going to happen is they're going to have to put up a major sale. This major sale is going to be steroid sales. It's going to be huge. They're going to have to 
um, sell a lot of their products at significant low low prices the percentage is going to have totally drop because they're not going to have space and so save your money for some of these major influx uh, store sales that are going to be starting to unravel and unfold um, this is what I see coming uh, especially with the shipping disruption and um, and when the influx and flow of all these cargo ships start you know rolling out and truckers start you know rolling them to all these stores they're not gonna have space they are no way they're gonna have warehouse space unless they set that warehouse space up now ahead of time to be able to store an influx amount of products such as that that is coming in then perhaps maybe but for the time being I can see major sales major discounts and that will be arriving as soon as you know things begin to flow although they're looking at this uh, crisis this shipping crisis to go into 2022 to 2023 but you never know anything can happen we shall see just keep your eyes peeled and be um, updated on everything that's going on because it's gonna happen that influx is definitely gonna happen and these stores are literally gonna be begging the public to help them out and buy a lot of their stuff at like pennies on the dollar literally it'll be I'm I'm looking at giveaway literally prices so that's something to think about so I just wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about um, shipping disruption the crisis that's going on and you know a few of the stores and that well, all the stores are affected um, but um, keep your eye open and you know just see how you know I definitely know the prices will affect all of these stores the freight charges will really boost the prices even higher so just keep your eyes open save your money continue to prep other than that guys have a great day and aloha